Thank you. Yes, thank you, Zoomadog. And you can read all about me at Zoomadog.com. 2013 Los Angeles candidate for mayor. Yes, if you check the ethic website, Zoomadog will be on the ballot. Thank you. Now, six years ago, I came here because you people voted on law that violated my federal right along with Mr. Matt Dowd, and then you continued to violate our rights here in council chambers. Now, we have already won in federal court over Venice Beach. And Carmen Tutanich, I don't know if city council realizes this, you have to pay our attorney fees. You have to pay. So uh, Carmen Tutanich, first he hired outside counsel for $100,000 initially, but he's going to run out, and then you will have to approve more money, only to drag out a winning case of which our attorney makes $750 an hour, and there's 11 of us on the case, and we have depositions coming up all this month, and the volumes of paperwork's going to be like this. Get ready, and if it goes to trial, you can get ready for about a million dollars just for our payment. Now, Carmen Tutanich, I'd like to warn voters that he's being deceitful already. Yeah, Carmen Tutanich, running for district attorney, got busted by a judge. I lied on my ballot designation. I was deceiving voters. I said I was Los Angeles chief prosecutor, except I forgot to say that I'm not the chief, and it's a county election, and I didn't say city. Yeah, yeah, Carmen the liar, Tutanich, LA Times called me. Yeah, yeah, a judge yesterday said I had to change my ballot designation. Yeah, Carmen Tutanich, I'm running for district attorney, and I'm already lost in court before even on the ballot. Yeah, yeah, Carmen Tutanich. So people know. No, he was busted by a judge yesterday for lying and deceiving people on the ballot, and we haven't even had the election yet. Yeah, Kevin Tatanis, douchebag. Thank you, Mr. Zumada. Yes, thank you. You're always a controversial issue when you talk about the business improvement district because what you're doing is talking about forcing property owners to have to pay money to get services the city should be providing. So no decision's been made yet, and the property owners in the downtown business improvement district can still vote no if they don't want to participate. But Zuma Dog, as candidate for mayor, feels I must take the position in public safety that I feel the property owners should vote for the business improvement fee to be assessed. It will raise about $5 million, perhaps, uh, to provide things like when you see the people on bicycles for the security that helps keep an eye on things and for the improvement of the streets. Because here's why. In case you hadn't heard, Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa announced that the city has to do a large number of layoffs. Well, I thought we already had a large number of layoffs. I thought we already had to reduce public safety. I thought Let's we already stay had to on the subject, Mr. Dog. You do not want to make this mistake today, my friend. I can tell you that for sure. Stay on the... And, you, you, and quit yelling and screaming. I'm asking that you stay. I'm, okay, no, you know what? You're, you're done. Your time is done. I, no, I'll give you one more chance. Stay on the subject of the bid. That's all I'm requesting. Because the city squandered the general fund and they're not going to have services for things like public safety to keep the streets clean, for trash removal, for trimming the hedges, the property owners should vote for this tax so that they can do it themselves because clearly the city's demonstrated when you put money in your hands, you squander it and pilfer it and fraud, waste and abuse it until the FBI is in town. They're all over this place, baby, because of what you voted yes on. So I say take it out of their hands because they can't do it. Vote for this bid money so that we can have a little extra safety, a little extra sanity, and a little extra sanitation amongst the thieving thank corrupt you, Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Miss Perry, hey, point, you can point at me all you want. Don't let this suit fool you. Miss Perry. Once the item is... Mr. Zuma Dog, followed by Mr. Arnold Sachs. Okay. Now, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just going to try to give a public comment based on what I see. I'm not a city attorney or the chief prosecutor. I'll do my best job here. 
Now it says that the <laughs> general obligation bonds, okay, they want to take uh, the bank, they want to ask the bank for more money, they need a loan, and they're going to need a loan, and the bank is going to give it to them. Here's why, because you got a lot of lawsuits that the city keeps getting sued for things, because you can just see the way they behave here, and it's, uh, they're, they're getting sued big time all over the place. So the bank is going to give them this money because they have to be able to pay the bank it's very complicated. The bank has to g give the city the money so the city could pay the bank back for the things they're getting sued for. It's effing hilarious. Now, I'd also like to say that what is this money going to be used for besides paying lawsuits? Because I know that there's things like federal stimulus money that's provided for the city and state funds and revenue and all types of things. But at the end of the day, I heard the CAO came out here last week and said the city's going bankrupt. And if we don't put new taxes on the people and if the police and fire don't give back and if the city workers don't give back and if everything doesn't work out through a needle through a haystack, well, the city's going bankrupt. So uh, what are you going to I want to know. We need a real controller. Here's what I want. I want Carmen Tutanich to put an inspector general on this bond money for how it's spent. Because what happens is we always have the auditor report, Helen Keller, running for mayor, that comes out afterwards and said the money was squandered, that it was pilfered, $7 million in gas was stolen. Uh, we lied on the fire statistics. We can't put out fires or save lives anymore. Uh, we can't fix the streets. We can't fix the potholes. No sanitation. More firings. So what are you going to do to make sure this money doesn't go out the back door and into everyone's pocket? Thank you. Arnold Sachs. <clears throat> yes, thank you. Zuma Dog, 2013, candidate for mayor. And you could read all about this department, the LA Housing Department, at zumadog.com. And I'm here to urge a no vote because the FBI had to become involved in the LA Housing Department for many issues, including. <clears throat> including the general manager and things that are happening relating to this item. They want you to give them, like, uh, how much is this here? They want you to give $2.5 million to the housing department for them to go use it to spend on some contractors. Yeah, I've heard this conflict of interest bamboozle before. It's called I Hire Myself. Talk to this Roberto Adolfe. I know that the president, Herb Wesson, knows him because Herb was housing chair the whole time that the FBI is now investigating. And I had a discussion with Herb Wesson about Roberto Adolfe. So vote no on this. Adolfe's going down. The FBI's crawling all over. Don't get your hands on this stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, there are no speakers in the queue.